Hi, welcome to Physics Waves. It's Mr. Dimi. Today we will discuss about lens. There are two types of lens. One is convex lens and the other is concave lens. First we will study about convex lens. So before we study the convex lens, just have a look at this diagram. Here you can see it's a simple mechanism to collect rainwater. If you are going to collect rainwater using a jar, if you just keep it outside, you cannot collect large amount of water because its opening is too small. But if you are using a mechanism like this, a large cloth is used over here and rainwater falling on this large area is converged to a single point. So if you are keeping the jar there, you can collect large amount of water. Why? The rainwater falling on a large area is converged to a single point. And in a convex sense, the same thing is happening. When a parallel beam of light, parallel to the principal axis, passes through this lens, this light rays will be converged. It will be converged like this. It is converged to a point. And this point is called the principal focus. So, when a parallel beam of light rays passes through a convex lens, these light rays will be converged to a point called principal focus. And the distance between the principal focus and the center of the lens is called focal length. The power of a convex lens is expressed in positive powers. Now we will study about concave lens. A concave lens is also called a diverging lens. Convex lens is converging lens. A concave lens is called a diverging lens. Have a look at this diagram. This diagram is just the opposite of the first diagram. If we pour water from this jar to a shape like this, you can see water coming from a single point will be diverged. It will diverge to all directions. So you can see here water coming from a single point is diverged. Why? Because of the shape of that structure. In a concave lens, when a parallel beam of light passes through this concave lens, after refraction, these light rays will be diverged. It will move like this. It will be diverged. And now you can see, you can compare the similarity between the water coming from that jar and the parallel beam of light. So the parallel beam of light, when it passes through a concave lens, these light rays will be diverged. And in a convex lens, when a parallel beam of light passes through a convex lens, it will be converged to a single point. So, convex lens and concave lens, its properties are just opposite. A convex lens is used as a magnifying glass. But if you look through a concave lens, the image will be diminished. That means it looks smaller. How to identify a convex lens and a concave lens? It's very simple. Convex lens, the center part will be thick and the sides will be thin. So if you just you know, like move your fingers through this portion, if the center is thick and the sides are thin, it is convex. And in a concave lens, center portion will be thin and the sides will be thick. See the difference. Convex, center part is thick, sides are thin. Concave lens, center part is thin and the sides are thick. And the power of the convex lens is plus and the power of a concave lens is minus. Actually, you can easily identify a lens whether it is a convex or concave. Only what you need to do is just looking at an object, move the lens towards right or left. If the image and the lens are moving in the same direction, it is a concave lens. If the image and the lens moves in opposite direction, it is a convex lens. So this is an easy way to identify whether it is a convex lens or a concave lens. So here I will show you a simple technique to check whether a lens is convex or concave. Here you can see there are three samples, okay, and I am going to check each one. First I am going to take here this one. See when I look through this lens, when I am going to try to read this book, you can see the letters. You can see when you look through this one, the letters are magnified. So that means the image is magnified. So it is what? A convex lens. A convex lens is a magnifying glass, okay. And there is one more method. You just move the lens towards right or left or in any direction. Here you can see when I move the lens to the right, the image is going to the left. And when I move the lens to the left, the image is going to the right. So, in general we can say, if the lens and the image moves in opposite direction, that lens is what? It's a convex lens. Okay. Next I am going to check this spectacle. See, when I look through this lens, 
here also you can see the image is magnified so this is a convex lens and when I move the same thing second method here also I am just going to move the lens to its right or left you can see the lens and the image moves in opposite direction so this is what a convex lens and spectacles we are using convex lens to fix which kind of problem do you know they are using to fix long sight that means they can see objects which are far but they cannot see objects which are close okay so in order to fix this they are using this convex lens next i am going to check this spectacle uh, here something interesting okay we can see uh, when i look through the bottom part of this lens you can see the image is magnified and also you can see when i move the lens to the right or left the image is going in the opposite direction so the bottom part they are using this convex lens and if you look through the top here you can see the image is diminished also uh, uh, when i move the lens to the left image is going to the left when I move the lens to the right, image also going to the right. So this is a concave lens. So when you look through a concave lens, the image will be diminished. That means it will be smaller and also the lens and the image will move in the same direction. And here do you know why they are using this both lens? Because this person is suffering from both problems, long sight and short sight or hypermetropia and myopia. This is an old age problem. Okay. The power of a lens. The power of a lens depends on its curvature. If you have a thin lens and a thick lens, thin lens will be having less power and the thick lens with more curvature will be what? Will be having more power. To be simple, if you look at my hand, if this is a convex lens, you can see the curvature and now I am going to increase the curvature. So this lens will be more powerful and this lens will be what? Less powerful. And now you look at the image. In the first image, you can see it's a thin convex lens and its focal length is 20 cm. There's a simple equation to calculate the power. Power is 1 by focal length. So, in that image, we can see the focal length, since it is 20 cm, its power will be equal to 1 divided by 0 0.2. Why 0 0.2? 20 cm is 0 0.2, that is equal to 5 diopter. Diopter is the unit of power, power of a lens. And you can see it's mentioned plus y. Why? Because it is a convex lens. And also you look at the um, ray diagram. It's converged less. But in the second diagram you can see it's a thick lens with more curvature. So automatically its power will be more. And you can see the ray diagram. If you look at the ray diagram it is converged more in the second diagram. That's why its focal length is less. So, a lens with more power can converge the light rays more. And you can see the diagram. Uh, the focal length of the second lens is 10 cm. In the first lens, it was 20 cm. The second lens, it is only 10 cm. So, when, when you increase the power, focal length decreases. So, and if you calculate the power of that uh, second convex lens, it will be 1 by 0 0.1. That is equal to plus 10 diopter. So, what you can see from this one is more power, less focal lens. Less power, more focal lens. And the power of a convex lens is plus and the power of a concave lens is minus.